Welcome to the ultimate culmination of excitement and fear, as today I'm about to unbox a couple of plants actually that are probably big enough to shield your human body in an epic battle. Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to potentially, potentially a disastrous unboxing. And I say this because I actually don't know if this is going to be successful because the plants inside this box have had a pretty mega journey, if I do say so. In this box, there should be a giant, and I mean giant, Anthurium waraquinum, followed by two very large Philodendron melanochrysum. Now this box has been through a journey to say the least. They could be dried up, they could be crispy, they could come amazing they could be a bit yellowing. I actually haven't got a clue. So I'll take you very briefly through the journey of this box. So on May 20th, it left the cellar in Indonesia, where it arrived in Jakarta, and it was put on hold till the 23rd of May. So that's three days it's been put on hold for, and it's still in Jakarta. It hasn't left Indonesia yet. It then left Jakarta and got to Singapore on the 24th of May and it departed the same day. It then got to Hong Kong on the 25th of May. Customs in Hong Kong cleared this and sent it to Germany on the 26th. So it got to Hong Kong and it left on the same day and it got to Germany. Customs got a hold of this box again in Germany and inspected it again and it cleared customs and it left on the same day where it arrived in the UK. And once it arrived in the UK on the 26th of May, which was Tuesday, it only cleared UK customs today, which is Friday the 29th of May. Me. And I'd like to make it perfectly clear that by this point, the plant has cleared customs twice previously, including Germany, which is in the EU. So I don't know if anybody knows this, but when you have boxes inspected for clearance, they will often open the box, they'll disrupt the foliage, they'll certainly disrupt the roots and have a good look. So this plant has been through that three times. And for some reason, Germany are on it with their inspections, but the UK clearly just don't really give a shit. So that was fun to wait three days, where I then had to make a four hour round trip to collect it directly from from them because I did not want to wait the rest of the weekend for this plant to be in postage and potentially die. And I'm now sat in 30 degree heat and I'm going to unbox it. So I think the best thing to do, I'm going to cut the box round the edges and then I'm going to flip it back and then we'll have a look inside because I think that's probably going to be the best way. So I'm going to go do that now. see shit. I will move this box back and I'm going to try not to screw over all the plants I currently have. Oh god. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Right. I guess I'll just start peeling layers off because I feel like that's just what needs done right now. I can see foliage already. Uh, I can see some leaves that are like, they're not fucked. They're just a bit bent and I'm getting hypersensitive already. Oh god. How anyone can inspect this mess, I actually don't know, unless that's from the inspection. I don't really know. Um, I see some foliage here as well. Oh, these are the root balls on the end that I'm at, so it means the foliage goes all the way down to that end. I'm saying nothing. <laughs> it looks like I can see some uh, petioles have snapped and the leaf has gone. Um, well, it's just gone to kaput, but... I don't know what it is. I think it's a melon that's done it. Let's try and get this melon off first because it's the closest. Oh my God. Okay, this is potentially plant one if I can lift it out well. Oh. So I'm lifting out a giant philodendron melanochrysum any second as soon as I'm able to free it because I don't want to pull it. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is like... This is a feat to get this out. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Holy shit. I wasn't kidding when I said these plants were like human shields. Like I wasn't exaggerating whatsoever. So this is the melano. I might try and bring it up to the camera. The caterpill in there is all mushy, but I think we're okay. I don't know if I can get up to the camera with this one. I'll do my best, guys. Sorry I'm in shorts, by the way. It's too hot in here. I don't know if I can either stand or I can kneel down, depending on what my cameraman tells me to do. I could kneel. You're literally going to go backwards. Really? <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. I can barely hold it up because it's so ridiculous. Look at that. Is that good? How's that? Nice. Well, that's one. <laughs> I don't know where to put that. How do you even find a pot for that, man? Look at that. 
don't know where to put that. Uh, I could probably just lie it down. Shit, I got no space. I don't know where to lie this down. I could probably lie it down over here. So I'm just gonna do that real quick. I might climb inside the box because I feel like it might be some easier. Right, I don't know what this weird looking belt is, so I'll cut this off. Good results so far, can't lie, that's probably the best you could hope for. There's a couple of torn leaves, that's probably from inspection, I really imagine, because there's no way these have got scuff around the box, it can't happen, so we can blame one of the inspectors for that. I can already see something has gone wrong with this second melano. Let me locate the actual root ball. That's it there, okay. Yeah, as you can see, the petiole has snapped. Uh, we have a yellowing leaf as well, but let's just pick it up and see. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. They've really went to town on this. Okay. Well, at least we got one good one, so it's not all bad. Oh, yeah, boy. Check that out. How's that for disaster right there? That's not great, is it? At least it's not dried out. I was actually super worried it was going to dry out, so you can tell every single inspector that's touched this box has just kind of opened it up and gone, I don't know. Okay, so this one's not as good. I don't know if I'm going to have to stand up with this one. Wow, that's stem though. Jesus. So this sucks. <laughs> the other leaf here, there's another leaf here and it's quite green. I hope my cameraman is getting that. Yeah. This one here is a lot newer. This one here is, that's actually a really good, good nick actually. This one, not so much. It is the lowest um, petty hole on there. So I guess it's a case of looking to see what the roots are like. Obviously I'm not going to show you the roots on camera because I know some people might care, but most people don't. But I think that's okay. I think it's salvageable. I think it's obviously gonna take a bit of a beating, but to be honest, I got one really great melano out of it. So I'm not really that mad if I'm totally honest with you. I still think this is a reasonable success given how much this was actually delayed by. So I'm not mad so far. It's kind of the last package that I I need that to be okay. You, you, you have no idea. I need that to be okay. The plant that's in there is a lot more temperamental than these. So I'm a bit scared. Move this over here like such and put it down next to the other one. The one thing I will say is it looks like this plant here has been on the bottom, so I don't actually think inspectors have necessarily gotten to it. I don't know, maybe they have. I don't know if they have to inspect every single plant or they'll just look at the top, I don't know. This root ball seems a little bit more intact. I don't know, to be fair, it's got tape on it, so maybe they have. I'm just trying to be like, you know, hopeful. Because there's a lot of wrapping, so forgive me if this takes a little while, I will speed it up for you so you don't have to watch it. Oh, they've put like cotton around the leaves to uh, cushion it, so. That makes me feel a little bit better. All right, we'll take that out. <sighs> okay, last plant. Here we go. I'm scared. I'm sweating. I want to like open like the tiniest little crack just to see if it's shit or not. To like break it to myself gently and I can't find a little section of it. I'm so frightened, honestly. This is a big deal. You'll see why when I get it out. Okay, I think I'm at the point where I can pick it up. I'm not sure. Let's have a go at picking up this human-sized Queen Anthurium. Let's see if we can get her up. Oh my God. Why is she still stuck? There we go. We got her. <gasps> Whoa. Holy shit. Oh my God. Obviously she's a little bit crumpled from shipping, but I'd like to think she'll plump up just fine. I've never seen anything like that. Look at that. I think that might be the slightly better one to show. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Honestly, that's incredible. Let me stand in front of it. I don't know if you're going to get me in, but it doesn't matter if you can't get me in. I'm sweating, but it was all totally worth it. Have you seen the size of this plant? I don't think I've ever seen a Queen Anthurium this big. I don't know. 
when I next ever will see one this big. But this is truly magnificent and I'm so pleased with it. And I think overall this shipment has been a pretty big success actually. I think I think one of the Melanocrysum, like that's a little bit screwed, you could argue. I think what looks like has happened is the inspectors have just gone through the packaging and just tore the leaves because they don't give a shit, right? So that's a bit of a shame. I mean, the plant isn't going to die. I can, I'm looking at it off camera. You can tell it's not going to die, but obviously it's taking a bit of a hit. I think the first melanoma we unboxed has come really, really good. I couldn't really ask for better. And I think given the fact that this is a Queen Anthurium, to only have, again, I'm so sorry, this is difficult to do, but to only have this leaf here that's really taken a beating, and to be fair, it's the lowest leaf. I think we've done pretty well there. I'm so impressed. It's not even funny. I don't think I could be happier if I tried. This is absolutely beautiful. Obviously, I'll probably get to appreciate this when I edit this back because I'm kind of holding it, but I can't really see the full scale of it because I'm stood holding it. But I imagine it looks pretty amazing right now. As it should, it's absolutely stunning. I've never, ever, ever seen a Queen Anthurium as big as this, personally. And I've been to botanic gardens and seen them growing. So I couldn't be more happy with my purchase. This is awesome. I guess that concludes my epic size battleground unboxing today. Again, pretty successful, pretty happy with it. I'm probably going to have to sit these in a bucket because I don't think I've got a plant pot big enough. So, uh, yeah, so I'm going to go and do that. And uh, any questions or comments or recommendations, please leave them below because I haven't got a fucking clue what I'm about to do with this thing. Let me know in the comments. Until next time, I will love you and leave you. If you like this video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see any more of my content that arguably is a little bit less impressive than this, then please feel free to hit that subscribe button. I'll try and wave. See you next week, guys. <laughs> Bye.